Okay, so what does 36,000 companies look like? Well, something a little bit like this. I speak to a lot of recruiters on a daily basis and one of the key questions I get asked all the time is what makes you guys different? And I think we can all agree that that's a common question in recruitment. So it's really easy these days to have a website and a logo and be in business um, just like that. It's very, very easy. So I want to ask you a question, right? What happens if you start to strip this stuff away? What if I took away your CRM system? What if I took away your branding, okay? What makes you different then? You're saying you've got this great tool, but I can have that too, right? So what really, 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 truly makes you unique as an organization? What happens when you take everything away? What are you left with, okay? So for me, um, I think this is, this is a really, really interesting question, and I want to answer it with a metaphor. So the metaphor I want to give you is about two restaurants. Okay, because your business is not unique. Okay, the metaphor I'm going to give you is about two restaurants. So, who here in the room has Netflix? Show of hands. Okay, um, put your hands down if you haven't seen. Um, I've gone off topic here, but we're going to we're going to go with this. So, the only thing that separates you, right, is 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 you. Okay, so on Netflix, uh, there is a series called The Chef's Table. Okay, by a show of hands, who has seen The Chef's Table? No, okay. The Chef's Table is about a Michelin star restaurant. And this Michelin star restaurant is um, the best restaurant in the world for five years running. It is a, a restaurant called uh, Osterio Francesca. And this restaurant has been three Michelin stars. It is in Moderna in Italy, and it is the number one, number one restaurant in the planet. Why? Can these guys be number one for five years running? Okay, how, how are these guys able to do it? Well, it's an experience, right? It's the finest dining that you can ever have. It is the finest dish, uh, the finest tablecloths. It is the finest bone china. It is, you know, it is an absolute experience, okay? Um, it is Massimo Bottura, and he is the reason, right? He's the reason why they are number one. This guy, uh, he went to Moderna in Italy, a small province, and he changed Italian cuisine. He went there, they were ostracizing him from the community, and nobody wanted to eat there until one guy ate there, and he said, well, this is amazing, and he's now been a national hero ever since. It is an absolute experience. Then you've got Ronald, okay? Now, Ronald's knocking out this shit for five pounds, and essentially, um, everybody's asking the same question, right? Because Let's think about it. What's the difference between these two things? They both do the same thing, right? They both fundamentally feed you. So how is it that one person is able to, to have such an impact and be able to charge you 300 pounds for a tasting menu and another guy essentially fills you up for five pounds because your clients, they see you the same way. Now, it's this guy, right? It's, it's Massimo, he's the guy. And for every one Massimo, there are 5,000 Ronalds out there you know, hammering your candidates, hammering your clients, hammering, you know, hammering your marketplace. So this is the difference, okay? So you need to be a Massimo in this world. People know it from the very, very, very first moment that you open up your mouth. They know it in, in, in who you are, in the first words that you say, in the tonality, in, in what you believe in yourself, okay? It's, it's, it's present from the very, very, very first moment who you are. And what fundamentally people are left with after the phone call, they forget everything that you say and they're left with this feeling. Can this guy help me? Is he a, a recruiter that I want to deal with? Is he going to help me further my business goals, my personal goals? So the message I want to leave you with is this. It's simple. Now, this, this is actually uh, the same, uh, not only for the restaurant analogy, but let's look at the best sporting teams on the planet in history. Let's look at the, uh, the England Rugby World Cup winners. Let's look at um, the, the Patriots, the, the women's netball team of, of, of last year, um, the, uh, the, the Manchester United teams. There's nothing different about these teams, right? There's nothing different they do, that, but it's, it's about the person. So my message to you is, in a sea of Ronalds, be a Massimo. Thank you, guys.